Hey, what's up neighbors? Double A Flare here, bring you another Destiny video. Today's video, it's Zerday, and let's see what he's got. It's week 50 this week. It's almost been a year now since Destiny's been out, which is kind of crazy actually, but let's see what Zer's got. Uh, this week he's got the Eternal Warrior, uh, Titan Helmet. It's got okay roles for intellect discipline. Uh, it was, he was selling it last week. It's an okay helmet. Uh, pretty much what it lets you do is have unstoppable and shoulder charge at the same time. So it's a pretty good helmet. Uh, mm, it's more usable and more useful in PvP. If anything. Uh, so if you're a pvp -er and you like to Titan Slam, go ahead and pick it up. There's nothing stopping you. Hunters have Mask of the Third Man. This is a pretty much the best sub uh, Blade Dancer helmet in the game. If you haven't picked this up yet, I don't know what you're doing, pick it up. Because it is an amazing helmet with increased melee attack speed and replenish health when you pick up an orb, and blade, arc blade attacks use less super energy, which lets you be in super for a longer time. So pick it up is a great exotic for the hunter. Warlocks, unfortunately you got the ripoff of the armamentarium, Starfire Protocol. Um, What does it really say about this? Pretty useless. If this would have been with firebolt grenades, an additional firebolt grenade, it would probably be a really good chess piece for PvP. But it's not. Fusion grenades. Having two fusion grenades is great, but there's nothing else to really set uh, to make it better because you can't have Viking Funeral or whatever or Ignite. Uh, yeah, because see, what would be great is to have Touch of Flame and Viking Funeral and then have two grenades, but in PvP, the Fusion Grenade already one shots, so it's pretty useless to have. Uh, it'd be okay to have in PvE, I guess, if you really like Fusion Grenades and burning things. But I'd say a pass. It's not that great. Weapon of the Week is the Thunderlord. Uh, I get it. I mean, it's a great heavy machine gun. Uh, I'm guessing it's going to be close to the new Thunderlord or new Galahorn in Year 2 because we can't take Thunderlord with us in Year 2, and Thunderlord can be taken with us. I have an idea on what it's going to be able to do. Uh, probably be able to switch between Arc and Solar. As you saw in the trailer, there was a Solar Thunderlord. So, I think that's what's going to happen to the Thunderlord, which, which is fantastic. I mean, that's going to be super useful to be able to switch between elemental burns. Um, so yeah, pick it up. It's a great heavy machine gun, too. So He also has a shard for 7 strange coins and an exotic chest piece in Graham for 23 months of light. Got auto rifle telemetry, pulse rifle telemetry, rocket launcher telemetry. I don't don't pick this stuff up, because uh, in Taken King there's just gonna be primary weapon, special weapon, heavy weapon telemetries, which is gonna be a lot more inventory, uh, you know, constricting, I guess, uh, or I don't know, neater, whatever. Uh, plasma drive for twenty three strange coins, emerald coil for twenty three strange coins, and heavy ammo synth. Five for one strange coin, and of course we have the mode of light for two strange coins. Uh, that's pretty much it. This is Zer for week 50. Two more weeks, and it's been a year of Zer. Almost there, boys. 24 days till TTK. Um, I'm just hyped. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like and subscribe for future Destiny content. My name is Double AA Flare. Thanks so much for watching. Also, I have news uh, for the Red Bull, so I'm going to be making another video later today. Make sure you stay tuned for that. My name is AA Flare. Thanks so much for watching. Peace.